Good morning, everyone. I'm Pastor Jimmy Pickett, and the verse I'm going to share with you today is 2 Peter uh, 3, 5. And, and leading up in this chapter, part in part, it's talking about false religion and uh, play acting in church and false doctrine and, and those type things. And it says, having a form of godliness, but that denying the power thereof from such turn away. God's saying, stay away from that, okay? Uh, how many how many times have you been to a church and I mean it looks so good and it looks so religious and it sounds so good and it sounds so religious but the problem is they are denying the power thereof what power the power of Almighty God the power of Jesus Christ the power of the Holy Spirit of God and unfortunately we've got way too many out there playing church today and they stand up there and they teach their congregation one verse if they're lucky. And they never get around to teaching God's word, folks. You you, you can't have the Holy Spirit of God involved if you're not teaching God's word. Because that's where we draw our inspiration from is the Holy Spirit of God. Sorry about that. Uh, and, and it's so sad today because churches are supposed to be for, for the sinners. It's supposed to be for the people that are lost. It's supposed to be for people who are broken. And I will say that we are all sinners, by the way. But uh, it is a place for the broken. It is a place that, you know, for people to, they should be able to come in and and, and not, not feel like they're going to be talked about or whispered behind closed doors because of the way they dress or the way that they look, folks. The church is designed for the broken. It is designed for people to come and to be in a relationship with Jesus Christ. It's come so that Jesus, through the blood of, of the sacrifice that he made, that he can make them whole again, folks. And churches have become a membership-only club. The who's who. Who has this and who has that? Who has the nicest house? Who has the nicest car? Who dresses the best? And then you get some poor soul that's lost and they need some help and they wander into the church and they don't feel welcome. Uh, folks, that's not the way it's supposed to be. And that's exactly what this verse is talking about. It's false traditions, false traditions of man, false doctrine, false religion, folks. Uh, uh, Christianity is not a religion anyway. Christianity is a reality. We are all out here every each and every day in this world and we're working and trying to provide for our families and, and trying to praise and worship our God and go to church and things of this nature, folks. It is a reality. We're all going to fall short. We're all going to make mistakes. And churches are not supposed to be a membership-only club. Can I get an amen? Amen. Hey, if this has edified you today, hit your share button, folks. Hit your share button. God's children are starving to death. Uh, for a better way of life. They're starving to death for peace and hope in their lives today. Hit your share button, folks. I uh, want to give a shout out to each and every person that's following the page. Hey, me and my guys love, uh, me and my wife love you guys very much. Uh, we're praying for you and your families each and every day. Um, thank you so much for spending this time with me in the Holy Word of God. Thank you.